Thank you again to the three of you. Thank you very much for the introduction and the welcome. Uh, with that, I'd like to go into some logistics with you all as to what will happen in these next four days. First of all, just a note. This Arab Governance Week that we are experiencing is the product of six months of preparation with extraordinary input from our partners, most particularly the Office of Higher Commission on Human Rights, the UN Women, and the International Institute for Democracy and Electoral Assistance. In addition, we were also assisted by the newly created affiliated network of um, uh, social accountability in the Arab world. We are honored to have with us eight ministers from five countries, experienced and noted civil society actors, judges, journalists, and social media activists, and of course, resident coordinators from UN agencies, all representing 17 countries from the Arab world. In addition, we have amongst us international experts from Malaysia, Kenya, Ukraine, Croatia, and the United States. The three key actors with a critical role in social accountability, i.e. government representatives, civil society actors, and members of the media, have come here to learn from each other. And together we will take a candid look at the current status of democratic change in the region. Together, we will examine the current context of change, highlight the diversity of circumstances amongst the different countries in our region, and explore what social accountability actually means in the Arab region. More specifically, we will consider how social accountability can be strengthened, examine what has already been achieved and the challenges we currently face, and focus on the role of three mechanisms for enhancing accountability relations, governance evidence, human rights monitoring, and the universal periodic review. In the first of the four days, we will examine the large political issues regarding social accountability. Today, we will answer what social accountability can or should mean in our emerging paradigms of change in the region. What important changes have already taken place from a social accountability perspective? How can we best understand social accountability in the context of transitions? And what is the role of the state, of civil society, and the media in social accountability? In the second and third days, we will take a closer look in parallel sessions at mechanisms available to support each other, the three actors amongst us, in our work on social accountability. One parallel session will focus on governance assessments, and another parallel session will focus on human rights monitoring with a detailed examination of the universal periodic review process. Here, we will try to answer what are some good practices and lessons learned, both within the region and across South-South knowledge exchange. What strategies have proved to be most powerful? What roadmap can actually be formulated to transfer and implement successful social accountability practices? In the last day, we will focus on the enabling factors for the way forward and the concrete steps that can be taken to strengthen social accountability. You will be invited to group by country to discuss draft national action plans to include concrete steps to strengthen work, work carried out on social accountability in your respective countries, and to examine in greater detail the role of government, civil society, and media. There will also be three side events. Tomorrow, there will be a closed regional workshop to follow up on the implementation of the Arab Anti-Corruption and Integrity Network. On Wednesday, there will be an open expo the Global Democratic Governance Report. And on Thursday, there will be an additional open regional consultation on governance and accountability in the post-2015 framework. Throughout the entire week, as you can already see, there will be media present. In today's session on civil accountability, the media will be present, and the session will be taped and televised to be presented on ON TV. In addition, this entire week's events will be reported live on Twitter. It will be live streamed on Twitter. And those of you with internet access can also follow it on the hashtag ArabGovWeek. Today, we will remain in this particular room. And our time is extraordinarily tight. So in the sessions that will follow, unfortunately, we will not have time for your questions. However, hold on to your questions and comments 
because while there is no time currently in the sessions to engage and discuss during the plenary sessions, there will be sufficient time for very productive discussions in the World Cafe, where we are allotting 90 minutes for collaborative group discussions on all the sessions that have taken place before. So please take note of your questions and comments, and each of you will have the opportunity to discuss them during the 90-minute World Cafe later on today. As you can see, this week is a results-oriented gathering. Politically sensitive subject matters will be discussed and are encouraged to be discussed. We hope to have a space in which challenges, successes, and more importantly, failures and opportunities will be discussed and in which together we can then determine how to go forward. How can we develop creative new ways of thinking? How can we together actually build a democratic, socially accountable governance regime. Finally, if you have any questions about logistics, you will see individuals wearing black and white with name tags and you can harass them and bother them at will. Speaking about name tags, in each of your name tags, you actually have a USB. So this is not a name tag for you all to throw away at the end of the week. There is a USB that is within your name tag in the USB, you will have all the documents and the presentations of this week's events. So please hold on to your name tag because it is very, very important. With that, I will hand the floor to the next session where we have the honor that the session will be chaired by Peter Groman, resident coordinator from Bahrain, who will chair the first session on understanding accountability in the context of transition. Once again, please th join me in thanking our introductory speakers and in welcoming our next session. Thank you.